name is Lydia Olet from Royal Greenwich TV Sorry. and um, I'm really happy to be here today because I know what you're doing for the community is really really brilliant and I like this logo let your voice be heard That's so who right. chose that let your voice be heard how did that come along well you know I think that uh, organizations such as Greenwich Inclusion Project mm -hmm. have um, people sitting on a board called trustees mm. And when the organization was set up, they spent a lot of time working out what it is that this project could do to help the local community. Yeah. And one of the key things they'd like to see happen is more people using their voices, mm -hmm. being able to express themselves, explain themselves, mm -hmm. and share the thoughts they have about how they can build a better Greenwich. And that's why they came up with that slope. Okay, wow, that is good. But before we can carry on with this interview today, I really want us to I want you to tell us your name and just tell us a little, little bit about yourself. Tell us something about yourself. My name is Russell Prophet and I have um, lived in London for a number of years. Mm -hmm. Too many years. <laughs> okay. But I enjoy being a Londoner mm -hmm. and I like working on human rights issues and okay. I've always done so. Mm. Okay, so when you say a Londoner, London, where are you from then? Originally, um, I was from Guyana. Okay, wow. I came to Britain in the um, 60s mm -hmm. as, um, I suppose, uh, an immigrant, okay. as we used to be called in those okay. days. Okay. And I grew up in Islington and Hackney okay. and studied in Lewisham mm. and worked in and around South London mm. uh, to this point. Okay, wow, that is very, very good. Okay, now tell me more about this project. What is the project all about? The Inclusion Project um, is very much in the title. It's about building bridges between the various sections of the local community for the benefit of all. Mm. It's about trying to create opportunities so that people who um, are different or um, are outside of what is normally seen as the mainstream mm -hmm. could find ways in which they can make positive contributions and share knowledge about themselves to the benefit of local community. Mm. They could also then claim their rights because uh, the program is very much about human rights, mm. civil rights, civic rights, and helping others to participate in uh, society in a positive way. Okay, and um, I know that there's so there's different things that you do. It's not just about tackling crime. There's immigrants as well. You deal with that as well. Mm -hmm. Well, the organisation is trying to um, help with the broad approach to reducing crime mm -hmm. locally. Mm -hmm. All sorts of crime, but particularly we're concerned about crimes of hate. Okay. Um, especially hate connected with uh, race. Mm -hmm. And we're working with other organisations that are dealing with um, hatred against um, people with disabilities, mm -hmm or um, crimes of violence against women and the like, mm -hmm. as well as any crime against people who may um, be gay or lesbian or um, bisexual. Mm -hmm. So we feel that if we can work together to try to reduce hate, we can build better communities mm -hmm. uh, in which all sections of the community can have a chance to thrive and do better. Okay. And as you said, like your logo says, let, let your voice be heard. It's not just about your voice being heard, but it's about people believing in you as well. Because you might come and say something, but nobody believes you. So how does it, that work? Well, in my view, these things take time. Mm -hmm. You're not going to turn difficulties in society around overnight, despite what some people may say. We need ourselves to find um, a level at which we can make a contribution so we can then feel valued. Mm -hmm. And I think if as an individual you feel valued, you feel positive, you would then go out and work in a more constructive way with other members of the community and mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. 
grip itself was created by the council okay. um, three years ago to try to ensure that people could speak and work together mm -hmm. positively. People mm -hmm. from different racial groups mm -hmm. um, could become more involved. Yeah. Uh, and I think the organization since then has been trying to set itself up and to open its links with a whole range of organizations to make a positive contribution. Mm -hmm. We now have links with um, the University of Greenwich okay. where we're talking to see how we could share with the work they're doing to educate people for the future. Mm -hmm. They're also involved in looking at the local economy and seeing how it could be strengthened and we want to help them with that. Okay. We're talking with the local council and all of the decision makers at the town hall to see how we can help people improve their prospects in life. Mm -hmm. We have been talking with them about finding more opportunities for helping people to train and helping people to find um, positive and better jobs for the future. Yeah. We're also trying to talk with the local church groups to see how we can share in the work that they're doing to give hope for people in the future, mm -hmm. but also to move beyond what the church can do in terms of us being able to constructively work with young people around finding better jobs, mm -hmm. around ways in which they can become more involved in society mm -hmm. and uh, not necessarily become involved in the negative things exactly. around communities, mm -hmm. but to become more constructive and positive. Mm -hmm. Uh, those are some of the things that we're doing and we're hoping that uh, we'll continue to be able to do so over the coming years. Mm -hmm. We would like to see more people join the organization because it's possible to become a member of GRIP mm -hmm. and if you've got a contribution and you want to make a contribution, mm -hmm. join in with others to see how you know, constructively it would be possible for that to be done. Mm -hmm. So. Those are some of the ways we're trying to work locally and hoping we can help to improve uh, lives for everybody here in Greenwich. Okay. So how long have you worked with this particular organization? Personally, I've been with this organization now for about, um, oh, I should think it's about six months or so. Oh, six months. Okay. And have you seen any changes within that six months from the people that you're counseling or helping or working with? Um, well, <laughs> my job is to help work with those who are trustees mm -hmm. to put our programs together. And I would say that we have been putting a program together. Mm -hmm. um, we now have in, uh, in our building um, something uh, like a migrants hub where people can come along. They can get advice. Uh, they can get free advice and information to mm -hmm. help them challenge the issues that they're confronted with, yeah. whether those be civil rights issues mm -hmm. or housing issues mm -hmm. or employment issues. Uh, and so that's one of the programs that we run. Yeah. We're also running a program with um, one of our children's centers mm -hmm. to develop parents as parents' champions mm -hmm. so that they can help new parents or people who are not familiar with the ways that uh, schools work mm -hmm. uh, so they can help them to see that the more involved you are with your child's education the better yes. it is for your child exactly. and the more likely it is that that child will succeed. Yes. Um, so those are some of the examples of what mm -hmm. we've been doing uh, in addition to the work that we're doing on human rights which is helping people claim their rights. Okay. So do you do, do you do a lot of workshops in this? Do you do a lot of workshops? Right. Well, there are some programs that we would do workshops on. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got a program coming up mm -hmm. to help people set up um, social enterprises. Okay. And that will involve a series of workshops mm -hmm. that people would have to sign up for that. Okay. And they'd have to show that they intend to you know, play an active part mm -hmm. over the course of, say, six workshops okay. uh, when we can help them to help create the dream that they may have in terms of 
creating a social enterprise or a business of their own. Okay, when you say sign up, do they sign up? Is it free to sign up? Is there any um, money involved? Is there anything involved in signing up? Or you just, how do you do it? How do you sign up? Well, depending on what it is we're doing, it, it, it is free. Oh, it's free. So for people who are individuals living in Greenwich mm -hmm. and in need, it will be free. Mm. Um, we don't make charges for the things that we arrange yeah. if they're there to benefit the community as a whole. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so do you get sponsored? Are you sponsored by? Are you sponsored? How do you get? How do you get this running? Yes. That's a very good question. At the moment, we are funded mm -hmm. um, by the council. Okay. We had to put in an application for the continuation of that funding, mm -hmm. and we're awaiting the result. Oh, so you're like this, very waiting fun. to see. But I can see that um, there's a, a lot of things that are happening in Greenwich, really, that people don't really know about. Mm. And what you're mm. doing for the community, I think it's, it's very good and it's very important for people out there to know. So we need a lot of people to sign, mm -hmm. right? Because the more people sign, the more work you have. Yes, well, we, we do need more um, people to become involved in our work. Mm -hmm. You can become a member of GRIP by going on to our website. Mm -hmm. Um, www.gripproject, all one word, mm -hmm. um, .org uk, and you'll see how you can become a member of the organization. Okay. Um, once you become a member, we'll have regular communication with you, mm -hmm. and in that way we hope to keep in touch, and we hope you can contribute also to our work uh, as we continue to develop in the future. Okay, so if you want to become a member, you, do you need to pay something to become a member or just give your talent or your time? There's no restriction on how much you can contribute. Yes. It's a minimum of a pound. Or a pound to be a member. But you can yeah. give up to a hundred pounds if you wanted to. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will become a member, but I'll, I'll help as well because that's what I do. I love helping community. So now, I know you say www. If anybody wanted to, to be, become a member, but what if somebody out there in the public wanted to, to come and get help from you as well? How did they get in touch? Well, on the website as well, you'll find the details of uh, all of our telephone contact numbers. Mm -hmm. Or you can email us, um, admin at grip, um, admin at group project mm -hmm. dot org dot uk, uh, and you'll get through to us, uh, and we'll be uh, able to provide you with the assistance you require. Okay, because I know it's 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 a lot of money to run something like this. Because, like you say, you work with immigrants as well, and there's that language barrier, so they need people for interpretation, and that costs money to bring someone to interpret. So, because we have people from different parts of, of the world, really. Well, we do. What we're trying to do, though, is not to duplicate things that's already happening locally. Mm -hmm. So, we would be able to put people in touch with other agencies. Okay that are already doing these um, things of benefit. Mm. We know people who provide the quality advice you need on housing, mm. people who are able to provide the quality support you need if you've got children who need um, particular care, mm -hmm. um, or if you are uh, maybe a senior member of the community and you want to find out a little bit more about what your rights are we can put people in touch with the appropriate organizations. So that also is what we're here for. Uh, we would certainly uh, be interested in having more sponsors for our organization. Exactly. We're particularly interested in sponsors, uh, maybe from the private sector, mm -hmm. who would want us to work with them okay. to improve the way they work with members of the minority communities, mm -hmm. for example, and we're willing to do that service and uh, obviously a contribution would be most uh, welcome. Okay, okay, thank you very much, thank you very much. And I know that you have, today you have some different activities going on, so is it okay to just go and see what's going on today? Yes, you are welcome to do that, yeah. um, to see people who are being supported um, through the Migrants Hub and uh, there's also some work happening uh, on human rights issues, so again, feel free to ask him to
see what's happening. So do you do these activities every day, like Monday to Friday, or is there just particular days that you have? These? Different things happen on different days. Okay. Um, some days we have community organizations coming in to organize um, their own events and activities, and they would use our conference hall facilities. Okay. Uh, and so certain days we ourselves would organize an activity, mm -hmm. uh, and that would again be available for all comers. I was just talking to Russell about the project that you guys do, and it's, mm. it's, it's, it's interesting, it's marvelous. And this, Let Your Voice Be Heard, yeah. that inspired me as yeah. well. And um, Russell just told us about the human rights, about the immigrants, mm -hmm. about yeah. everything that you do. And I asked him if you do projects with the youth, like dancing, yeah. you know, all these yeah. fun things that youths like. Yeah. And he said I should actually talk to you when yeah. you were the writer. So he told me, <laughs> tell me something about that. Okay, so there's two projects that we work on. One is a human rights project, which I can talk about later, and the other is that we're working with young people mm -hmm. uh, on a play which is called uh, Kabul to Woolwich. Kabul to Woolwich. Yeah. So how, how did that come up? How did that come about? So about a year ago, mm -hmm. um, some young people came to me and said they would like to start a youth group. Okay. Because they came to the country as young accompanied minors. They came from Afghanistan to England. Mm -hmm. um, what they wanted to do was support each other. So there's a youth group, but they're aware that young people who come to this country from places like Afghanistan as mm -hmm. a refugee mm -hmm. and so on, often find it hard to understand how Britain works, understand how to fit in, and also uh, understand that story of moving all the way from Afghanistan to uh, England. So yeah. we, we actually started practicing um, a play about their story. Okay. And their story is from Kabul to Woolwich. Okay. So what we did, we found some funding by some academics mm -hmm. in Brunel Universities with the Connecting Community Projects. And what we did, we found some funding to work on this project around Kabul to Woolwich. Mm -hmm. So what we do at the moment, every Wednesday the young people meet. Mm -hmm. We also have a theatre company that comes down from mm -hmm. bizarrely Newcastle wow. um, called Cap and Pie. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're helping us develop the play okay. so we can tell the story of these young men have come all the way from Kabul mm -hmm. to Woolwich mm -hmm. uh, in search of safety and sanctuary. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a fundamental human right yes. in this country. We, uh, as a country, Britain accepts refugees as a, as a fundamental human right. Yeah. So it, it's an important story because A, it tells the story of human rights from their perspectives, yeah. but also tells their journey from Kabul to Woolwich. And the interesting things that happen on that way, it's, it's a story that many of us don't know and I think it's really important that these young boys, um, young youths, have their um, voice heard. Mm. And so it's uh, fantastic. So we do drama, we do workshops every Wednesday okay. where we talk about some of the issues, we play around with ideas, mm -hmm. we act out anger, we act out being loved, we act out being serious. We've come up with a play and um, structure, so we're going to talk about sadness, we're going to talk about excitement, building yeah. friendships, and we're going to act all that out in different mm -hmm. scenes. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, and it's interesting that you say the youth actually came to you, That's because right, yeah. normally in the society when we look yeah. at youth, we just think, mm, trouble, trouble, trouble. That's right. Yeah. And some of them as well, are, some of them are up to no good. But yeah. for the youth to come to you and yeah. say, oh, this is what we want to do, because this is the difficulties we faced when, we, faced, right, yeah. when we were coming from yeah. Afghanistan to here or any part of, of the fine. world to this country. It's a very big move and it's a brave move. Very so I'm really, really excited that the youths can do that. So is, is it open to anyone? Is it open to all the youths? Any youth that yeah. wants to join in? Yeah, it's open to anyone. Um, at the moment we're focusing on the, the theatre production, yeah, so, but awesome. it, is, it is open to anyone. So anybody who wants to um, join the group, they're more than welcome to join the group. So okay. uh, if you know of any young people, please please let us know and we can include them into the group. The group is for everyone. It's, mm -hmm. uh, 
um, and we would encourage that as well. Okay, wow. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. So is there anything else you want to tell us before? Well, yeah, maybe the, the project on the human rights, I could tell you. Um, one of the things that we do also at uh, GRIP is that we work with victims of hate crime. Okay. So that's targeted incidents or crimes subject to people of a particular faith, of a particular race or ethnicity, mm -hmm. a sexuality or their disability. Mm -hmm. And the reason we work on that, we fundamentally believe that everybody has the right to safety. Exactly. Everybody has the right to feel safe and secure yes. um, on, this, on our streets of Greenwich and our streets of Woolwich. Yeah. And unfortunately that right isn't always upheld. For example, some people get racially attacked, some mm -hmm. people get attacked because of their religion. What we want to do is see a society that doesn't have that happen. So it's a society free from that oppression, free from that racism, free mm -hmm. from that um, religious intolerance. And mm -hmm. um, so we work with the victim to ensure that they can get access to justice. So if they feel that they're not being treated fairly by the police, for example, by the council, mm -hmm. by other organisations, um, we try and work with them to advocate for change. We also look at ways we can find solutions to the problems they're facing, so we can try and guarantee mm -hmm. that fundamental right to safety. Okay. And I think because of organizations like this, yeah. the youth, especially the youth, they really need to know that things like this exist, yeah. so that when they're going through difficult situations, instead yeah. of taking their anger outside and Correct. doing some yeah. silly things, they can actually come yeah. to places like this and get help. Very much so. And I think this is an organization that the council really, really need to, to look into it and sponsor it, promote yeah. it. I agree. Because this is a very important thing because the youth are the leaders of tomorrow, really. Very much so. And I think it's really important that we explore ways and the young people can explore ways to non-violently engage with yes. hateful behavior. Mm -hmm. How do you non-violently engage with issues around um, hate, racism? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, anti-Muslim hate crime, how do you engage with that in a non-violent way? And I think the way to do that is actually to subscribe to some of the ideas yes. around human rights. Exactly. The, the human rights of everyone in this country is well protected. One of the things we have to do is make sure we guarantee that exactly. somebody is accountable mm -hmm. um, for the actions of, some, uh, of someone expressing racism. Mm -hmm. um, somebody is accountable and we can actually change all that. You know, there is laws around, there's human rights that we can apply, so there is brilliant non-violent ways to engage with issues of racism and certainly hope that many young people can embrace those ideas too. Okay, because we want our young people in the Royal Greenwich to feel safe in the streets Correct. and to feel safe around where they live and very to much love so. their borough as well. Very much so, very much so. so. Thank you very much Jasper, thank, thank you, you very much, much for thank allowing you. us to come and talk to you today and everybody else this is Royal Greenwich TV and watch the space. Thank you very much. Just running through the corridors, and I was told that this guy, I have to talk to him. We are just here in GRIP project, having some interviews today, and they told me you're a very important man in the community. Tell me about yourself. Well, I always say I'm a very important man in the community. <laughs> I, I'm just a, a humble servant mm. uh, of the community. Mm -hmm. um, my heart is for young people. Okay. Um, I want to make sure that young people uh, becoming the best that they can be. Mm -hmm. So I run a charity called Youth Rally Mission. Youth Rally Mission. Yes, okay. Youth Rally Mission. Now, Youth Rally came out of my own pain. Mm -hmm. My young boy of 16 years okay. was stabbed to death in 2006, mm -hmm. November, just about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and out of the pain, I decided that I'm not just going to grieve and, you know, mm -hmm. but try and help other young people, mm -hmm. you know, so they don't become at risk of you know, being exactly. killed. So that's what I do. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm a local pastor as well mm -hmm. with a, a church called Crossroads of Life. Mm -hmm. um, but Youth Rally is a youth project, okay. like a faith-based project. Mm -hmm. We run football. Mm -hmm. Every Saturday I meet about maybe 20 to 30 boys mm -hmm. um, in Winscom, Winscom on, mm -hmm. and we do football. But football is just like a catchment project, mm -hmm. you know, because they're all interested in football. Exactly. And then from there we try to develop them, their character, their behavior, mm -hmm. attitudes, mm -hmm. that sort of thing to make sure that uh, they are, are not at risk of offending. Wow. So, so that's one of the things I do. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing I do is uh, I'm like contracted out to Greenwich Council okay. because of the youth work. Again. So when they have young people who should go to prison, mm -hmm. um, but for some reason, maybe because the offense is not that bad, mm -hmm. they put a tag on their feet, on their feet and mm -hmm. I engage with them mm -hmm. 
over a weekend, you know, to see what changes we can, yeah, we can bring into their lives. Okay. So I'm always working along with young people. Okay. But apart from that, I help the council, various forums, and mm -hmm. joint commission, you know, as it's a um, steering group. I was part of the steering group mm -hmm. that developed GRIP as a project mm -hmm. and GAFs as well. So I'm a trustee mm -hmm. of GAFs, uh, but I haven't sat as a trustee of um, GRIP yet. Wow. But I'm on the BME forum. I'm on the joint youth com a crime joint partnership mm -hmm. in the council mm -hmm. where all agencies, prisons, uh, police, hospitals, mm -hmm. schools, we come together mm -hmm. in the area of youth crime to try and, you know, stop youth crime in, in Venice. And I also sit on the hate crime, um, hate crime board, mm -hmm. which is to, which fights hate mm -hmm. crime. So anything to develop the community, mm -hmm. you know, help our youth, mm -hmm. uh, represent the black BMU community, work mm -hmm. with Grape, you know, Razzle, mm -hmm. I'm always, you know, available. And, and then I represent the churches as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I work with almost all the pastors and, mm -hmm. you know, in Greenwich mm -hmm. to help make sure that Greenwich is a place to be. A safe so, place. A safe place, yeah. yeah. And did you actually say that you're not important in the community? Well, You just to be, told me so many things, I can't even remember. <laughs> the, the reason why I don't see myself as that important is I'm always volunteering. Mm. All these things that I've told you, most of it I don't get paid for, mm. you know. I, I, so to me, I'm just serving the community. Exactly. I, I became a Christian mm. in, uh, 2000, in, in 1994. Mm -hmm. And from there, my heart changed mm -hmm. from just living life for myself, mm -hmm. but living life as Christ did to die for, mm -hmm. you know, for mankind. Yes. So I kind of availed myself mm -hmm. selflessly, sacrificially, mm -hmm. for anything that will help the community mm -hmm. become peaceful. You so know, you so become so. a servant. Yes. So I see myself as a servant of God yeah, and of the community. Of the community. Wow, okay. that is that is very interesting. And your story as well, that is really, really touching. Well, and I think what you're doing for the community, for me, if somebody says they're big, if you're working with the youths, yes. you are big. <laughs> so for me, you are big. Because well, just the fact that you're working with the youths, yeah. you are big. And you overcame your pain yes. and started working with the youths you, rather than you. revenge and yes. anger. Oh, and you, thank you. you took it somewhere else. To thank you. I like that word overcome because you see, people tend to see success as um, what do you call it money, mm, big car, exactly. house, that mm. sort of thing. But anybody who is trying to make people's story better, yes. to me, is, mm. as you are trying to make other people successful, mm. you are success, a success yourself. Oh. You know, I try very much to, in my heart, to be a blessing mm. to other people, other projects. People want to, if somebody finds a project, he wants to lift it up. I say, come on, let's go. Let's yes. see how much you can. Yes. You know, that's my, my desire. That's my passion. Oh, to help thank other people. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No very problem. Much. Thank no you problem. very much. Thank you, God sir. bless you with God the work that you you're too, doing. Sir. I never knew there was anything called Greenish Television, but there you are. As long as we are sounding, as I said, the mouth yes. of the community, exactly. sounding the thing, good things that mm -hmm. are happening, mm -hmm. there's a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. You know, it goes to touch other people. Mm -hmm. And it says, if he's doing that, I would do that. Now, recently, we did an event in the square on the 4th of October. Mm. Grip, you know, financed us yes. to some extent. Yes. And we brought the whole community together, schools, Brilliant. the mayor, mm. the MP, yes. you know. And lo and behold, two young people yes. got internship. Mm. Yes, at the House of Parliament last year. One wow. got a work placement at the mayor's office yes. just by organizing the event. The event. You know, so... As you lay out yourself to do good, mm -hmm. there's a way that it comes back to you or mm -hmm. it has a ripple effect in the community and people get blessed. So that's what I do. So. You know when we told you that we are Royal Greenwich Borough, the eye of the community, wow. and you said something, you are the mouthpiece of the, the community. community. So the eye of the community, yeah. which is Royal Greenwich TV, yeah. and the mouthpiece of the, of the community, community joined together. Amen. What do Amen. we get? <laughs> We went for Royal I, think, I think you just really killed it there <laughs> because you. the mouth and the ears and the eyes and the nose must Everything. all work together. Exactly. I always say that there's, there's a, a, a Chinese proverb that says a fish rots from the head. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the head is very important. Exactly. In other words, the leadership of any organization, mm -hmm. of any project is very important because it starts from the, from the head. Yeah. And so if you're the eyes, mm -hmm. we are the mouth, mm -hmm. then we are the head. And exactly. we, we must keep going. <laughs> so the whole body, the whole community will follow. We'll follow. Thank you very much, Thank sir. You too.